called study cards and it's based on the idea of flashcards or study cards being those little sticky notes or post-its we brought on the train, bus or subway to a final exam or presentation. This Easy. website was built in PHP with a MySQL database backend. The mobile website was built in PHP using the jQuery JavaScript framework to make it a bit more mobile friendly and oh, obviously the creation of a new user. Once it accepts your login information, it will forward you to where you can create your study cards. You can see on the left hand side that no cards have yet been created, so we'll go about creating new cards. I'll just explain what each of the fields are in, in the creation of a new card. Card title is obviously simply the title of a card, as in how it's represented both at the top of the card and identified in the My Card section on the left. Front text is a subtitle that's displayed on the front of the card at the bottom. This can typically be used to ask a question such as define this phrase or who is this if you choose an image which I'll talk about momentarily. Back text is essentially the answer to what's alluded to on the front of the card. So for example if it was asking to define something on the front here would be the answer the definition. Card image can be used to display something on the card. For example it could be the photo of a country's flag and you'll need to identify it. An example will come to play shortly. The two checkboxes, show front text and show image, will be used to customise the appearance of the study card. For example, if you didn't want to display front text and the slide title was enough, or if you didn't want to show an image, you'd uncheck show image. You click save when done or clear to reset the form. You can also edit by clicking this button, and you can delete a study card by clicking this button here and it confirms. Once done, you can navigate to the mobile website and log in using the same credentials you entered on registration. And once logged in, you can see the study cards presented in a mobile optimized grid. You can click the numbers indicating the number of study cards you've entered at the bottom to move forward and back between study cards. And you click the study card in question to see the reveal of the answer or what you defined as the back text. Thank you for watching.